Hey guys, Oscar here for Not A Grouch with another video and this time I'm going to show you a little repair thing I'm doing on my camera. If you notice a few of my previous videos, maybe in the past uh, six or seven videos, I have used a different camera, not my cell phone. As you see right now, I'm still using my cell phone because my camera is going to undergo major surgery. <laughs> So I'm going to try to show you what I'm doing, hopefully I can. Apparently this is something that happens to these cameras quite a bit. It was a flaw in the design or defect in the manufacturer, I'm not sure. I'm too lazy and concerned about not having my camera for a few weeks to send it in for repair. And I also don't feel like it's worth a few hundred bucks to repair it just because I only paid like $700 for it. So, let me show you. What we're talking about here is the Olympus OMD 5, I believe. And what happens is this little piece right here is where the tripod mount, where you mount it onto the tripod, comes with two. This is attached to these two little pieces, like this. It's supposed to be all one piece. But uh, if you put a little bit of pressure, it's easy to break. And what happens is this sits right here and starts spinning. And you can never really get a good sit, a good, a good, um, you can never get a good lock on your tripod after that. Then if you don't realize it's broken, you try to tighten it. And what happens is the plate that goes here also breaks because you keep putting pressure on it and then you start pulling this out so this starts kind of popping out and makes this part pop out so you can see it's a little bit uh, bent out of shape so what you end up having is a camera that cannot be used on a tripod that sucks because if I want to do a selfie video with my gorilla pod I can't because the camera is wobbly and I feel like I'm gonna drop it or it's gonna fall off so there's no really easy way to repair this. I couldn't find a kit online to repair it. What I thought I could do would be to buy the battery grip and add additional batteries to it. And also that would replace that part of the camera. The problem with that is that the battery grip relies on the tripod mount uh, hole to attach itself. So it wouldn't really make any difference. So this is what I decided to use, and I don't know if it's going to work. So I went to the store and got this little, uh, you know, epoxy mix thing that you can, you mix it together, you shape it into whatever you need to shape or wrap it around whatever you need to wrap it on, and then it dries up, it cures, and it solidifies like steel. So I'm going to give it a try. Hopefully it works. And uh, I'll show you, I'll try to show you step by step what I'm doing and see how it works. So what I think I'm going to do is, I'm going to make a little plate that covers the whole thing. And then I'm just going to push this into it. I'm just going to push it in and hopefully that will settle it into place. And then I'll put the cover back on. And hopefully the putty will come up to the part where this, the base plate is a little bit bent out of shape, as you can see there. Totally beat up, right? But the camera still shoots great film and great photos, so I have to try to repair it so I can use it better. It says do not touch this with your skin. What the hell? How am I supposed to do this? So this is the hardener. Squeeze out equal amounts from each tube and mix thoroughly. Setup occurs in four to six hours. Allowed to set overnight. Okay. Oh, just starts coming up. Okay. Let's make a little drop there. I suppose it's going to do the same since. Probably a little bit of squeeze area on the tube. Yep, so there it goes. This 
is a lot more fluid than I expected it. I thought it would be more like Play-Doh. Right now, it feels like toothpaste or like honey. That's not at all what I had in mind. So, I don't know what to do now. I feel like if I put it on there, it's gonna go into the system. And I definitely don't want that. I feel like this is my one and only shot. If I, if this doesn't work, I think I'm gonna ruin the entire base for good. And then I'll really be screwed. I wonder if it's gonna harden a little bit over the next few minutes. Here we go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit on the rim. Carefully not to go into the camera system. Put some here. And then I'm just going to kind of lather it up all up all around here. Being careful not to cover of course the screw threads. And then I'm just going to put the base back on and let it sit overnight. So that's it, I guess. It's no turning back now. So I know I just totally switched the camera angle, but I'm not really, I don't have a lot of places to put the camera, the phone right now to do this. So, okay, I did that part. It's already starting to kind of settle. You can see it's just a little flat. So now I'm just gonna put this back on. So much for that. So you can see it's kind of settling in now. Hopefully you can see. And what I'm gonna do now is just put the plate back on and fill in any little gaps. Let's see. So notice that the plate is actually broken, so put it together here first. So hopefully this does work. Okay. So now, just gonna Put some of this stuff right around the rim to make a seal. And this is probably not the way you want to repair your camera, but hey, this is how I'm doing it. I appreciate you guys watching. This is one of the few videos you'll find from me telling you not to do something that I'm showing you how to do. If your camera is new, if it's under warranty, then perhaps you want to just take advantage of that and go, go for the warranty route. In my case, that's not an option. So, DIY. Stop.